Hi guys, Ty Lord here with the pickups video. Got a lot of cool things to share this week, including a couple of gifts, some uh, thrift store pickups, some GameStop pickups, and a couple pickups from the Sacramento Gamers Expo my wife and I visited a couple of weeks ago, which was a blast. Got some movies, got some games, all good stuff. I'll start off with the movies. Anyway, so I'm not big into laser disc collecting like Mr. Tight White or uh, or the Bad Company Gaming or uh, who else? Uh, uh, Rickshaw Jr. or Jason Vectrex. Uh, I think CM Retro is getting into it now. Um, I do have a good laser disc spot where I can pick them up for, for like 50 cents a piece. So I usually get them and send them media mail over to those guys. I'm not really into them. The only ones I keep for myself are James Bond laser discs. I don't know if I'll ever get a laser disc player, but if I do, I'll have all the James Bond um, laser discs. Uh, uh, James Bond laser discs, and I have Jaws on laser disc. I'm not getting rid of that. Um, anyway, but uh, my buddy Mark the Game Shark knows I collect James Bond movies. And he's into laser collecting, uh, laser disc collecting as well. I, forget, I didn't mention him until now. Uh, he found a, uh, a nice copy of Octopussy here. Laser disc he sent to me, which is really cool of him. I appreciate that, Mark. Um, yeah, anything James Bond, whether it's VHS, laser disc, DVD, I collect anything James Bond. And I didn't have this one. He knows I'm only down to a couple that I need, and this was one of them. So he sent me Octopussy. This is one of my favorite Bond movies. Probably my favorite Bond actor, Roger Moore here. 1983. So I was like four years old when this came out, so I didn't see it at the show. This is a great movie. Wow. Anyway, yeah, glad to have this. So thank you, Mark, for the Octopussy um, laser disc. And then... Uh, Happened to be at the uh, Rasputin's uh, music store and happened to find the VHS of the same movie. I think I already had that, but I wasn't quite positive. I can't pass on that for 25 cents. Uh, Man with a Golden Gun, Roger Moore's second outing as Bond uh, VHS. I didn't have this uh, print of the Man with a Golden Gun, so I was, at, I was able to find that one today. Oh yeah. Um, Terry Gilliam's Time Bandits, really fun a movie, a fantasy comedy type deal, adventure, sci-fi. I haven't seen this in a while. I, oh yeah, Sean Connery is in here, John Cleese, Shelley Duvall. Okay, and I found the sealed Glory Days of Wrestling VHS. I'll probably put this in the package I have for uh, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. I have some WWF tapes. I'll probably put this in there. Uh, it's just really, really old wrestling, like the uh, like the Haystacks Calhoun, uh, Fritz von Erich, way back in the day, before my time. Uh, Top Top Gun. I thought maybe that might start getting popular because the new movie's coming out, and I didn't have it on VHS, and that was twenty five cents. One of my, my favorite horror martial arts movies, it might be my favorite, Silent Rage. It's like uh, Walker, Texas Ranger meets the Terminator, pretty much. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, all the nerds are obsessed with this one. Oh yeah, another Bond one, I didn't have this print of On Her Majesty's Secret Service with a George Lazenby, 1969. Yeah, great, great movie. I've talked about that before. Oh, here's a movie I really like, and I read the book to it as well by Peter Benchley, that does that wrote Jaws. Um, read the book of this, and I enjoy the movie, The Deep. Uh, this movie has a lot going for it, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's got Robert Shaw in there, that plays Quint from Jaws. He plays like a treasure hunter in this game, and he's almost the same character as Quint from Jaws really close. I really love his performance in this movie. A lot of people don't talk about this movie. It's directed by um, P. 
Peter Yates. I think he's done a few big movies back in like the 70s. Um, Nick Nolte's in here. He, he was a stud back then in the 70s. He probably still is. I haven't really seen him much lately. Um, Jacqueline Bissett. Oh, you gotta see her in this movie. Uh, scuba diving. Oh, another thing. Yeah, written by Peter Benchley. That's probably one of my favorite authors because I like Jaws, this, The Island. What else did I? I read White Shark. I like a lot of his novels. Another thing, a uh, score by John Barry, my favorite uh, music artist. John Barry, the composer of the Jaw, uh, the composer of the James Bond movies, did this really cool eerie score. Yeah, kind of like a mixture of Jaws and James Bond. <laughs> the score, really, really cool. Uh, John Barry score. Uh, speaking of score, here's uh, Mortal Kombat. It must be the movie score. George S. Clinton. It must be the music from the movie. I don't really remember too much about the music. I just couldn't pass that up. I think it was like a dollar. Mortal Kombat. The oh yeah, the original motion picture score. I don't remember if I liked the music in that or not. I can't really remember. I, I think it was similar to the game, the music in, in the movie, if I'm not mistaken. But if anyone knows, let me know. If anyone wants this, uh, hit me up. At the thrift shop, um, they had they charge three dollars for their video games, but then they every once in a while you'll see a PC game or a PS1 game mixed up with their their CDs, which they charge like twenty five cents for. I saw Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for twenty five cents, so I got it. Inside, it had two discs. Though it had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, it's complete. Ooh. But uh, there was a disc one of Resident Evil 2 was in there. I put it in this, uh, I put it inside this uh, slip container. I was gonna give this to Hav, geez. I think he needs it, but I couldn't get this thing to run. It might be scratching, I might go get this resurfaced and see if it will work. But anyway, 25 cents, you can't beat that. Who wants to be a millionaire in Resident Evil Leon's disc? 25 cents. I'll, I'll get that resurfaced. I'm sure I can get it to work. Um, uh, DD's discount. I got my girls a bunch of toys for Christmas. Uh, I was in there and I saw a Nintendo Switch uh, screen protector for $6. So I picked it up. I don't have a screen protector for my Switch. That's going on my Switch. Oh, look, I missed a, a video. Willow. I found Willow for 25 cents. Uh, What's his name? Ron Howard's Willow with Val Kilmer. Uh, every I remember when this came out, all the critics hated on it. They go, "This is just Star Wars set in like the fantasy Middle Ages or whatever," which is cool to me. Like, I have no problem with that. Yeah, I was a really kid when I saw this at the show, and I really loved it. And I think maybe I've only seen it one time since then. It was gonna play downtown at the State Theater a couple of weeks ago but I had to work it was like a, a weekend and I usually have weekends off but I had to work that weekend so I missed out so I haven't seen this movie in a long time GameStop uh, had uh, I usually get games uh, from them if it, they have the 4 for 20 deal 4 games mark 9.99 and below you could get for $20 so uh, Saw was 9.99 I hear that's kinda rare so I got that one I got my wife Tropico 5 for the Xbox 360. She loves to play it on PS4. This one says it's a limited special edition. I don't know if the code's missing from this or if it's on the disc. I'm not quite sure. But she likes that game. Uh, Lost Planet 3. That one looks really cool to me. I never played it though, but that, that was uh, $9.99. And then one I've been wanting for a while, everyone says it's trash, but from what I've seen of it, it looks like something that would be right up my alley is Star Trek. From what I've seen of this, it looks like a, a co-op uh, cover shooter, action shooter, like, uh, it looks like Resident Evil 5 with, with Kirk and Spock. So that's all, I'm all about that. I'll probably try to get my wife to play this with me. It's a really, really cool. All right, and then uh, on to the Sacramento Gamers Expo. Had a great time there. I could have spent a lot longer time there. 
I get overwhelmed when I get there. I have a list of the games I want. Um, and then I just get there and there's so many games, there's so many booths, uh, so many vendors, I just get overwhelmed and I forget what I'm looking for. Um, I did happen to find a couple things I wanted. Uh, first off though, I uh, met a couple of the guests there. Uh, this guy, I, I forget his name, he had, um, he was sharing his uh, Sega Pluto 01 prototype. It's kind of like the, the, a newer version of the Sega Dream, uh, pardon me, it was like a newer version of the Sega Saturn that was never released. Uh, this kid said he found it at a garage sale or, or a thrift store for like three bucks. Really cool looking big machine, like a tr prototype. It's supposed to be like the new Sega Saturn. Oh, I had like a, a built-in Netlink modem for, for internet. Uh, pretty cool looking machine though. I'm, I'm glad this kid found it though, because he was really, uh, Enthused about it and ready to and, and wanted and like to share about it So he got a, a spot at that convention and was uh, pretty passionate about uh, Sharing about it um, So that I saw that uh, One of our friends from town was there Russell Barba From the Wasteland TV. He, he was actually a developer of some old uh, Nintendo and Sega CD games He usually goes to this thing so we usually visit with him for a while, uh, Russell there. Actually got a lot of my James Bond collectibles from him. Uh, and then I got his uh, DVD. He did he did a bunch of interviews at SEC Gamers Expo the last few years. Interviewed some, uh, uh, some voice actors and some uh, YouTube celebrities. So we got his uh, DVD from Wasteland TV. I think I'll try to put the link to his uh, channel down there. And then the only games I ended up getting for myself, I did scratch a few games off of my wish list. Um, I was looking for a few Game Gear games. I couldn't really f see very many vendors that had them. I found a, one guy had a box of cluttered bunch of Game Boy and Game Gear games. And I happened to find some of the ones that I won. I found uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog 1. That's my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably the only one I like. Game Gear. So I finally got that one. And then I saw you had for uh, $11 um, Golden Axe Axe Battler. And I hear this is a good uh, Zelda clone. So I kind of wanted to have that on my Game Gear. I, I was trying to give that a play. I'm off for two weeks for Christmas, so I might try to to run through that game. Um, my wife uh, got Animal Crossing City Folk. I think that was the only Animal Crossing game she doesn't have. She was gonna buy it from the guy in the vendor. He says, oh, you don't want that one. That's the worst Animal Crossing. And my wife said, yeah, I know. I played all, through all of them. This is the only one I don't have. So, so I think he gave her a deal on that one too. It's Mark 10. I think he gave her a deal on that. Um, one common game that's really cheap that I, I always want, but I never find it anywhere around here. And it's probably my favorite of the series, uh, Tekken 4. Got that for $4. I've been, this is the one, I, I had it a long time ago, but I must have misplaced it. But this is my favorite Tekken. I just, something about it, it kind of has more of a realistic look and feel to it. Actually, when I was a kid, they had the arcade at the movie theater, and that's where I first played it, and I thought it was really cool. At that same movie theater in town, that machine is still there. To this day, it's, it's all faded, but it's still we're there and running, the Tekken 4. Anyway, I'm glad to have that. Uh, this, I saw, this is one of the games I must have misplaced, or maybe I was a dummy and I sold it. I don't know why I would have sold it. This is probably the best wrestling game on Xbox. Yeah, it is the best wrestling game on Xbox. Def Jam Fight for New York. Uh, rappers fighting and wrestling. It's like a wrestling fighting game with rappers. I'm not really into hip hop or music, but this is a great game. And these, I think these little rapper characters fit well into this setting, and it's like a cool little story going on. I think the uh, the celebrities in here don't play themselves. They play like characters. So it's kind of like they're actors playing characters in the story. Some of them might have their actual stage name come to think of it. Like, I think Snoop Dogg is the boss of this game, but his name is not Snoop Dogg, it's something else. 
yeah, just a really cool, uh, a lot of depth to this game. It's like the, probably the best of a wrestling game, the best of fighting games, and it's even got like some RPG elements. It's got a story mode. I remember this was highly praised when it came out. It has a really cool art style too. Like that game. And then the best pickup I got in Sacramento, I visited uh, Vinnie Corleone 62 from YouTube. Uh, he was he lives in Sacramento. Unfortunately, he was too sick to go. But uh, he, I talked to him on YouTube before about taking his Trinitron. He had a 26 inch Trinitron TV. He was trying to get rid of it because he's moving up to Idaho. And I, uh, I said, I'll, I'll take it if, when I'm up in Sacramento for that gamers convention. I thought I could meet up with him at the convention, but he got sick, unfortunately. So he couldn't make it, but I stopped by his house and picked it up. I got a couple uh, game, uh, Nintendo 64 games for him at the convention. I'm still gonna get, get you more, Dean. I have some, another gift I wanna give you. That That's uh, way too nice of a gift just to drive up to your house and take it for free, that uh, Trinitron. Yeah, my wife and I met him, really super cool guy, just like how he is on the videos. Uh, really cool, genuine, great guy. But uh, yeah, he gave me that big television, heavy as heck. He's got to weigh a hundred or a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, I set that up in the living room. That's Man, that's the best TV I've had for, for retro gaming. I have my PS3 hooked up to it, my backward compatible PS3. I played through uh, Quantum of Solace for PlayStation 2 on it. It looks great. It sounds freaking great. The, 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 the sound just fills up the rooms. It feels like it's coming at you from everywhere. That I, I don't want to say little TV, but that great big TV. But it's in a small area, but the sound is beautiful and the picture is per, uh, perfect. Yes, yeah, but I played through 007 Quantum of Solace, which is a great PlayStation 2 game. I beat that a couple days ago on that Trinitron. So I'm trying to put it to good use. I know you wanted to find a good home for it. And I, I mean, I really appreciate that television. I'll try to show some footage of it. Um, really happy to have that thing over there in my little gaming corner in the living room. Also, uh, GameStop Online had uh, buy two get one free. I think it had free shipping too. So I usually try to add to my Xbox collection. Sometimes I luck out with the cases and manuals, sometimes not. First one I wanted to get was Mega Man Anniversary Collection. That one didn't have the case or the book, unfortunately. Uh, Mega Man Collection. So I have this on PS2. I recently picked it up, but. I'm more about Xbox, so I'll probably get rid of my PlayStation 2 copy now. You know what, maybe not, I have that backward compatible PS3, I don't know. Uh, then, uh, Castlevania Curse of Darkness, this is one I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, that one had the case, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it doesn't have the manual, but the, the disc looks good and it has the, uh, the case. Uh, Castlevania Curse of Darkness. I remember everyone hated on this, like, like everyone was anti uh, 3D Castlevania games around this time, like, eh, they just keep them 2D forever. But from what I've seen of this, uh, John the Retro Bro is, it was streaming this a few times. This looks like just what I would want from a 3D Castlevania. It kind of looks like uh, a lot of grinding, a lot of exploration, uh, powering up your weapons, kind of like uh, Symphony of the Night, but 3D. From what I saw of the gameplay of this, I've been wanting this. This is one I'll probably play through this year, hopefully. I gotta do a video of the games I completed in 2019. I think I did like 15 or 16, which is good for me. Anyway, Mortal Kombat Deception. This is probably my favorite Mortal Kombat game. I had it before on Xbox, but I must have misplaced it or whatever. Um, but have this again anyway, so. All the, these three were shipped to me for 13. I thought that was pretty good for GameStop. Three games I wanted that were in my, on my wish list. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. It actually came out around the same time as, as the Def Jam Fight for New York. That, this was a great time to be into fighting games. Yeah, this one you could, you could uh, play online on Xbox Live. But the, the amount of content in here is incredible. Like, no games have this much content anymore unless you buy like hundreds of dollars worth of DLC. 
this is I don't know what's my favorite Mortal Kombat. I like two, and I like it one actually a lot. Uh, Mortal Kombat Nine and this are probably my favorite. Uh, Deception here. This this was the follow up to what was it called? Deadly Alliance. The the amount of content in here is crazy though. It's got your typical versus gameplay. It's got the uh, the arcade mode. Quite a few characters. Quite a few unlockable characters. And then not only that, but it has a puzzle game, kind of like a, a, a gym puzzle type uh, columns, Tetris type game, like puzzle combat. I think it's probably like this this puzzle fighter type BS. It's kind of a fun game. But that's on, uh, uh, that's the mode on the game as well. Not only that, but it has the Mortal Kombat chess, like a chess board with chess figures, and and you when you take someone's spot, you battle them like a fighting game. So it's got that mode. And then my favorite mode, probably on any Mortal Kombat, the Conquest Adventure, is kind of like a long played out like uh, RPG adventure, uh, open world uh, tutorial. It kind of like teaches you everyone's moves, uh, all teaches you about all the different characters through a long adventure story, and uh, Castlevania there. So all those, 13 bucks, not bad. Uh, I'll finish off with some gifts I got uh, for Christmas. My buddy Alex, uh, that game collector, he's uh, he must have had doubles from his his uh, Wii collection. He's all about the the Wii U right now. I think he has his collection complete actually, but he's trying to spread the Wii U love. I always liked the Wii U. I don't like it as much as as he does, but. I always liked it, and he uh, sent me these games for my Wii U collection. My, my Wii U collection is starting to get really good. Ninja Gaiden 3, the uh, Razor's Edge, and then uh, Wind Waker HD. Um, I have Wind Waker HD, but it's the digital copy that came with my Wind Waker Wii. But I, I wanted to have that nice physical copy there for my collection. And then Ninja Gaiden, I'll probably rage out at this thing, but it's cool to have that. Cool, so I appreciate that. Uh, my boy Alex uh, looking out for me on Christmas. Oh, and then uh, Christmas exchange with, with some few of my buddies. Uh, I got, oh, check this out from uh, Segalacious at the Virtua Brothers. Sent me Street Fighter collection for for Saturn. The, the second disc is damaged, but, but he just gave this to me for Christmas, so I'm glad. He says the disc one has Super, uh, Super Street Fighter and Super Street Fighter Turbo. Those are probably my favorite ones. The second one has like a modified Street Fighter Alpha 2 and uh, yeah, I think that's it. It just has Street Fighter Alpha 2, like a modified version. But man, this is going to be the nicest thing on my bookshelf. If there's one thing Sega Saturn had was, was pretty, pretty uh, cases. This thing's gonna look so nice up on. I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. I don't have a Saturn, but same with the Bond movies. I don't have a laser disc player, but I'll display those nice laser discs. This is a beautiful Sega Saturn case. I'll put this up on on the display. Really cool to have that. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you to my good buddy Dave over at the Virtual Brothers. Cool to have that. Okay, finally got through that. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing... St well, you know what? I'm going to be off for two weeks, so maybe I will make some more videos. I kind of want to make one about the games I beat this year, and I need to do a shout-out video. It's been too long since I've done that. That's kind of how I started off my channel, uh, shouting people out. Because I, I don't really want to promote this channel and get big. I'm not. I don't have time to do all that. Or there's other ones I'd like you to see too if you haven't already. Anyway, but uh, happy, Merry Christmas, everyone! If I don't see you before then, uh, hopefully I'll get back to you with some more videos. Have a great Christmas, and if I don't see you before New Year's, have a great one. So, bye.